Hey everyone, Brandon from The Chosen Prime here, and today we're back taking a look at Bingo Toys BT-02 Wind Girl. Uh, if you're not familiar with uh, Bingo Toys, uh, the first product that they put out was a uh, Bumblebee Movie Shockwave in, uh, in a pretty good size scale to go with the uh, three zero stuff. Uh, they, they Real nice product, transforming Shockwave, um, pretty impressive, and uh, they followed it up here with this Windblade. Uh, also equally as impressive. I'm um, real, real pleased with the product. I'm just going to give you a quick look at it. We'll take a quick transformation stab at it, see if we can get it right, and uh, see what you guys think. Uh, first thing we'll do, take a look at accessories. Uh, they give you four different faces for, uh, for this one. This is a, uh, a smiling face here, so get you a little bit of a, a smirk going on. Um, then we have the uh, kind of playful, smiley, open mouth face. Uh, and then lastly, we've got the uh, full open mouth kind of war cry type face. Then uh, as far as hands go, they give you several different options. Um, these are just on a ball joint peg. So uh, they're like the nylon type, kind of like Iron Factory is doing. Uh, I really like this move here for the right style figure. Um, this one's kind of a, a just like a pointy finger, just a little bit of a you know open finger. And then you have the uh, the full splayed hand, which uh, I, I like this uh, for for the other hand on that's not wielding a sword or maybe like having the hand on the scabbard. Uh, then you've got a set of hands here that this is the the sword holding hand so this one uh would would hold any of the, the different swords that she has and then you have a uh, a closed fist also so uh that one's pretty cool uh and then we have the um fancy heart making uh hands so we can get that going on if you want it i believe that this is for putting the swords into some sort of four-sided sword gimmick uh, that she could wield. I'm not sure of that, um, but it's there if you want to check it out and try to figure out what it's for. I did not look at the instructions for it. Uh, next thing is we have the stand. So this stand, I'll take, uh, take her off of there. Uh, there's a peg up in here that holds her on the stand. Um, this stand has two two sets of arms, so you can you can configure it in multiple ways, and then they have these little stoppers in here for these arms to transition this at different angles, depending on uh, what you wanted there. Now these are these are tight, like in in there, so just be careful when you're when you're kind of putting that back together or uh, or building that that you uh, are able to get it off cleanly, like rotate it back and forth. Don't just try to pull it straight up. You Good chance you pull that peg right off of there. So just kind of rotate it back and forth so you don't, don't end up with a problem there. Um, but the stand is capable of going uh, both directions here with one of these pegs. This peg here <clears throat> gives you the ability to raise this up. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that gets you the ability to put her on the stand in robot mode um, up up at a higher point there. So you can do that if you so choose. And then we'll take a look at the jet mode. Uh, it looks like there's several configurations for this jet mode um, that you can do with these swords. You can take these off. Now these ones are pegged, the smallest one. So you can actually put like a, a, a tail on the fins if you wanted to do it that way too. So you can configure it like like this instead. Um, there's there's several other configurations you can do. Uh, these just there's a there's an actual peg hole in here for the for the bigger sword. And again, if you want to put the wings back like this, you can do that. You can configure this thing. Uh, in a lot of different directions. Um, we can pull these off and I'll just show you a, a quick other configuration, uh, more traditional winged 
configuration, I suppose. Um, if you want to do something along those lines, um, and then these these swords here, they have a they have a little peg right here that you can see, uh, and that that goes into the side of the the leg right here, um, which is the lower leg in robot mode, and I'll show you in just a second. Uh, and then they also have a spot to go on the on the robot in uh, robot mode. This is her little bow tie that goes on the back of her head. This comes off uh, kind of easy. It doesn't fit super tight on there. Probably not as tight as I would prefer it to be. Um, so we'll take a quick look at the transformation. I'll see if I can fumble my way through this. I've only done it once. So bear with me as I uh, work my way through here. But uh, we'll get these out of the way. So you got to open this up uh, right here. These are, these are kind of tight. But there is a peg in here that goes into the into the back of the neck, essentially, uh, on the wind girl's head. So we'll get all this kind of broken down, and then this is going to rotate around here, and we're going to plop this chest up here. So this piece, and then we'll get we'll we'll come back to that once we're kind of unfolded the rest of the way. Um, the feet go around like that, and that gets your, your leg. I mean, this, this is a, a fairly simple transformation on this figure, so nothing, nothing overly complicated going on here. But it does work into a really nice robot. So the lower legs, then you got the hip skirts right here. You just kind of roll these back over um, on that. And then the heel just folds out like that. And you can position that how you need to to get her to stand as needed. So this one, I try to remember how I did this to get it set, but we'll get the head. Now this head, you'll notice, notice this little set of pegs right here. These are gonna, it's gonna go in, in this little, little gapped area right here once we get there. So we'll, we're, we're, we'll get the arms kinda out here in position and I'll see if, uh, see if we can get this. The shoulder pads can go in, in tight if you want them and then they just kind of splay out uh, as you need the arms but we'll see if we can uh, get this chest configured properly here by folding this down and then we'll get this head in the right spot you kind of want to drop the neck sorry about getting out of frame there guys uh, you want to drop the neck down in there and then pop this in so I kind of missed the first time there. So the neck goes down and then this kind of holds the head in place. So that gets that configured for you. And then you just fold these wings down here. And these again, you can configure these however you like. Um, there's there's several different different places you can put them. You can put them up like this. You can put them down like this to uh, kind of lock in here and fold these in like this. I, I prefer the this clean look here to kind of knock them into place. That's my my preference is is something like this. And then we can kind of get the arms configured properly here. Pop the hand off the again this is just a ball joint. Uh, these nylon style hands just pop on and off so it's it makes it real nice and easy to uh, to swap it out the one thing that I really want to point out on this figure that I think is is super impressive is the face so if you look at that look at the detail on it and the, the way they did the uh, kind of metallic green eyes behind it, it it really just makes the whole thing pop uh, really, really pleased with with what look we have there, and again, 
this bow tie goes right on the back of the head. So we'll get that repositioned. And it, it just actually is a screw cover as well. So it's uh, out of your way. And we just have a really, really excellent looking figure um, that, that surprisingly for, for the way the feet are done, it, it does stand quite well. Um, obviously you have the ability to use the, uh, use the stand if you want to, but it stands on its own quite well. It's got good balance. Um, again, these swords, they have the little, little peg right here. So you can clip them in on the side right into her hip skirt. Um, so there's a little spot there so you can hold that one there just like that. And the other ones, again, you can you can configure these back in here if you want to do them like this. They just drop back in there, and uh, they uh, they can hold in place there. The small ones, I think that these pegs are supposed to maybe hold these smaller swords, but I, I I'm not 100% sure of that. And like I said, I did not pull the instructions for this so <clears throat> there's there's probably some configuration there that can be done and you can also pop it into the back here if you kind of want like a little winglet on there like that so that's that's how I configured them is with the little winglet and I think that that gives it a pretty cool look if you want to go along with that we'll show both sides done that way Maybe. These pegs, uh, you probably want to adjust them a little bit. They are, they, they are pretty tight. But she does straight up look like she has wings now, rather than just the, the turbines um, and the, the airplane wing. <clears throat> so, pretty, pretty happy with the, the way that configuration looks. But like I said, there's, there's a ton of ways you can do this figure. Uh, as far as flexibility goes and poseability... Great, great arm movement. Um, you know, you get this full, full motion there, and you can actually kind of move the wrist side to side if you really needed to for any reason. But uh, just definitely a menacing pose uh, for a female character. It's it's very well done. I think they really embodied Windblade well. And lastly, we'll show the uh, the swords here in hand. Um, she can she can wield these in in a lot of various uh, poses. Oops. Like I said, the the balance of the figure is is very good too. So you can get get good range of motion there. Um, the the knee obviously comes all the way back here, and this shin separates right there. You can actually you can actually bring this back if you so wanted to it's kind of a little awkward i don't think anybody else's shin's been like that but you can definitely do do some really cool posing uh with the figure because of the posability of the the arms and the legs and it's uh it's just a really well done figure the the metallic paint that they put on the red sections and the gold is it, it really pops on the matte black so I, I think overall they did a did a really good job with this figure, and uh, I highly recommend it. If uh, if you haven't checked out Bingo Toys, I would give them a ch give them a shot. And I appreciate you guys taking a look at this. Uh, we've got them in stock now, so if you want to pick one up, uh, Bingo Toys BTO2 Silencer. All right, you guys have a good night. Take it easy.